What's up, Tiger Squad? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Carrie Vlogs. I'm Carrie, and this is my vlog. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a Dance Moms ALDC Studio. So you can just dance on here or build, and so you have you can create your own private server or add somebody and like one of the like ser other servers that your friends are in and you can't join. So you can join one of these servers and you can just add somebody and you'll see if they need a builder and if they do you can build for them and if you want to know how then i'll show you so the first part to this i'm going to be showing you like introduction to building so if you're in somebody else's server then what they'll need to do is dot dot b tools then they'll need to say your username they won't need to say your whole username if you're the only person with that kind of username so i'd have to be like b tools I'll use my first piece of my username, Carrie. I'd have the tools. Or if you were to be tools somebody else in your server, you would say be tools, then you'd say like the beginning of their username. So I have the tools. You're gonna go to your inventory and your building tools will be there. So if you're already in your server, then you will have the building tools already. And so, if you, the first thing you'll see when you go there is inventory. Then it'll be the inventory is still at the bottom. So, what you can do is you can just press any other piece on your tools and it'll just click the screen and then the inventory will go back off. So, you can just press the board and then it'll, it'll be gone. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you what each tool does and what it's used for. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the Z, which moves tools around. So, I go into the studio. And I clicked on this star on the ALDC sign. I could move it whichever way I want. And at the bottom you'll see an X glowing or a backspace. And you can just press backspace or the X to delete it. But you have to click it and then press X to delete. And if you don't, if you actually want it there, you can click the backspace. So I think I'll keep it there. <clears throat> you can pretty much move anything. And another thing you can do with this is you can copy it. So at the bottom, you'll see like two papers above the F3X and under the X. And you can press it and it has copied. So then what you can do is you will have two screens so here's the first screen and here's the second screen we don't need this one so we'll just delete that one and the next tool is the rotate tool the rotate tool pretty much just lets you no this is the expand tool actually that's the x tool you can take it and you can like make it bigger make it smaller but you gotta make sure it doesn't look weird. So I'm going to go outside. And I'm going to press this tool. And I can expand the bush. Or I can make it smaller or bigger. I can make it thinner if I'd like. So sometimes you have to rotate your screen a certain way to get it how you would like it. And so then I'm just going to go back to the original one. Then the next one is Rotate Tool. It's the C tool. It has a C in the corner. You can press the tool. The green rotates it this way. I don't know exactly which way it is. It can rotate from side to side. The red tool can flip it upside down or flip it right side up. And then you have the blue tool. The blue tool will flip it sideways, like that. So I think that I'm going to just rotate it back to the way it was. And the next tool is actually one of my favorite tools. It is the color drop tool. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into the new studio. Here, this will work. So. You can choose any color from the palette, or you can, like, kind of make your own, I guess. All you really have to do is 
take the little thing in the corner. I, don't, I can't move it right now. But usually I don't use those. So whatever color you do choose to use. You can just try and figure out how to get the yellow circle moving. I need to just choose one of the colors up here. I like the pink one. So I press the pink. And I can just press a wall. And it will turn to that color. And then I also use the B tool. It's a surface tool. So I could pick all. And then I could pick. Let's go with Universal. And that's what it will look like. That's what, like, it'll change how your wall looks. I could go to Studs to make it, like, this cool thing. Inlets. It could go with Weld. Smooth. It pretty much just changed the material. Not material. But the feeling of it. And then you have Hinge motor hold on smooth okay motor okay some of these maybe are just smooth and you have no outline okay yep let's delete this window and then the next thing is the end the settings tool the material tool in the end you need to click on something, so I'm going to go to the outside of the building, because that's what works best for me anyways. And... Oh, my friend just joined. And so what you can do is... Let me text, hey. What it does is you can change the material of something. Uh, how? So to change the materials, all you really have to do is go to one of the little selected pieces, and I'm going to change it to the wood planks. And it's changed to the wood plank. If you cannot see, hold on up at the top right up there and then over here i could change it to ice if i wanted marble ice pretty much any material as long as you like it so i'm going to turn this one back to brick same with the other one and then another thing is that the anchor tool Pretty much, you don't ever really want to use the anchor tool because sometimes you can unanchor everything and it'll ruin the entire studio. Which is which is why I've never used the anchor tool. And then you have the case, the collision tool. Never use that either, just because when I hear collision, I think, oh, okay, it's probably going to mess up something I worked hard on. Who knows? Then the new part tool j tool i love this one and so what you can do is you can do a normal tool and it'll just give you a brick and you can use the resize tool which is the x tool to make it like different length or different height width anything like that and so then or you could also use There are other ones like a truss, which is kind of something you'd see in an obby, where you'd have to climb it, and so it pretty much just builds it up. Then you have a wedge. Pretty sure what the wedge is just like a corner or like a little. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. Like a little hill, maybe. I've actually used like the wedge thing before. Then you also have a corner. Never actually have to use the corner either, just because I can make it my own. And then there's also cylinder. Cylinders are what you can use during tryouts or anything like that. So, I can just press it and I have a cylinder. I could make it a different height. It could be like a little round cylinder for props. 
you could rotate it to where it faces down and you can use it for like a stage like a circled stage if you want so I'm gonna delete that then there's the ball it's also what you see in obvious like the ones you jump on those are really cool you can color it resize it whatever you want then you have the seat tool you just you can go sit on it like that no did me not did not mean to delete the grass no the next thing you can do is vehicle seat so if you're in a car i don't really get like the point of the vehicle seat if you already have a seat tool but some people like to use it then you have the spawn that chooses where you spawn things now the spawn tool and the normal tool look very alike just make sure you always choose the normal tool for building but when you need a spot for you want a spot for your students to spawn or your friends to spawn that's when the spawn tool comes in handy so if I left and then rejoined, I re probably would respawn there. Or if I kept resetting it till I spawn to the to selected spawn space. And that is all for the new part tool. Next you have mesh tool. Add mesh. That's what adding mesh looks like. I've never actually thought of adding mesh before. So actually did not know that that's what it looked like but a lot of the other features i know about oh i love this tool the lighting tool it can put the spotlight on anything you can just press the add tool so i could select the sign and add the spotlight and i could turn it to like a different color if i wanted to but then again hue actually purple I don't know but right now it kind of just does something i'm pretty sure you have to be like in like a certain piece of the studio for it to work so okay then okay i'm gonna go inside the studio a and try and okay here's our spotlight it's right here so let's go to take this nope let's go back to the u there's a point light Never actually, like, you have to use a spotlight or a point light or anything. So, sure, you just, just take it to the top. Like, I can just say, <coughs> I had it anywhere, and it worked. And you got the surface light, which I'm pretty sure does the same thing. <coughs> you can press it again and see, like, what it, like, sometimes it will tell you. And then... You have the decorate tool. I love this tool. You can add smoke to anywhere. Like, I just added smoke to the carpets. Looks really cool. You can change the color of the smoke. So, that's nice. You. Let's go with 10. Okay. That can do remove smoke. And you can add fire if you wanted to. And it looks super cool. Let's go for size, hold on, 10. Looks really cool. Remove. Then sparkles. I love adding sparkles to it. You can change the color of the sparkles. Cancel, cancel. Now you can remove. And then you have your backspace tool, which lets you move back. Then you have your forward space tool, which lets you redo if you ever wanted to. Then you have the X tool. That lets you delete things. You have the share tool. You only need, like, an, you have an ID for it and everything. And then you have your copy tool, of course, at the bottom. This tool, it lets you select a certain part. So, that's always good. And then, you have the FX3 tool. That's, that helps you. That helps you learn about it more. It's, this is pretty much if you're on a computer. Which is what has Shift, R, and everything. <clears throat> so, hopefully this was helpful.
And if you like this video and want to see more like this, then make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought. And make sure you turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.